Welcome back to Word of Fame Homestead. Well, today we're going to try to catch up on what we did get finished last weekend. Going to try to get out. Of course, Kim's got to cut the grass again because it's growing so fast. But I'm going to try to get the old bush hog worked on. I got to fix the back wheel on a little bit. It don't turn like it needs to. I think a grease fit needs to be replaced. So uh, see if we can get the old bush hog fixed and go ahead and see if we can bush hog the pasture. So what my problem is, is this back wheel right here. This back wheel is supposed to turn and you can kind of see it's just not looking good right now. It's supposed to turn freely as you bush hog uh, and let the back end kind of float. But like I said, the grease fit was right here, but it's either came out or broke out. I can't quite tell yet. Got to get a light on it so I can see. But I'm going to try to replace that fit. And if not, I'm going to try to take this bolt out here at the top and just fill this up with grease so I can get through with it today. So we're going to see what we can do. Well, that don't work. We'll try something else. Must be a smaller one than that because that there's still too big to fit in the hole. I see some threads in there, but that one's gonna be too big. That's the smallest one I got.
Well, it ain't pretty, but it's gonna get me through for today. I'm gonna go back sometime and I'll get me a new uh, We'll go back sometime and get me a tap of die set and I'll go ahead and tap that hole out, go ahead and get new threads in it and get a bigger grease fitting in it. And uh, we'll see how that does for today. So, uh, got this put back together, so let's go do a little bush on it. you no more. Got that one anyway. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, Ow! You better watch it. You better look out. You better look out. Ow! Weirdo. Oop. Oop. Ow! Quit trying to bite me. You got rabies? Like a little washing machine. 
Ernie. How are you doing, Ernie? How are you doing, Ernie? Mm. I think it's time to chickens. Well, we made it to Sunday afternoon. We got through yesterday, finally about dark time. We got all the grass cut and all the pastures and everything cut. We about run out of daylight. So uh, we went in last night, got us a little bit of rest. Got up this morning, went to church, had a good message this morning. That's going to get us through the rest of this week. And uh, here this afternoon, we got all the cows fed, the chickens fed, and Bella got her bottle for the afternoon and got things ready for tomorrow. And I forgot to tell you last week, uh, up there on the donkeys, how they did with the farrier. The farrier came uh, last Saturday morning. He was here at the barn at 6. So me and Kim got to the barn about 5.30. Went ahead and fed everybody, got everybody together. Made sure the donkeys were in the barn where they wouldn't run off on us. And uh, he came and trimmed bucks hooves up real easy. But when it came Genevieve's time to get her hooves trimmed, I walked right up to her with that pocket holder and that lead line. And I uh, thought she was going to give me a little bit of trouble, but she stood right there, didn't move a muscle. I took and put it right across her neck, put the loop over her nose, and uh, walked her right over to where the farrier was. He trimmed the hooves up. She didn't give a bit of trouble with it, and uh, she did great. So kind of glad of that. We didn't do anything to George this time. He's so young. His hooves look good, and uh, we're going to try to catch him on the next go around. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Again, we appreciate you joining us, and uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. We appreciate all the comments everybody leaves us. Uh, we get some good ideas from some of the comments that were from the last video that we had, and I appreciate that. And uh, we're going to get back to you as soon as we can on other comments. Again, we appreciate it. Come back and join us next time.